Welcome back, Cancerians. We're going to be doing a monthly check-in. I know I'm a little late, I do apologize, but please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help me support my channel. For those of, the, of you that have been um, liking, commenting, I just wanted to give you, you know, just say thank you and, you know, hopefully this reading will resonate with you. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on uh, just like a monthly check-in. I feel like it's going to be a love reading, guys. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also comment if this, re this reading does resonate with you, Cancerians. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, that information is also listed below. Please remember to watch the video to the end as I will be pulling some charms for you guys. Um, what else do we got? So, okay, Cancerians. Let's see what's going on with my Cancerians. If this reading does not resonate with you, please make sure that you take what you want and leave what you don't need. Remember, this reading is for entertainment purposes only, so do take it lightly if it's not resonating with you. If it does, um, please remember to comment below because I always like hearing, um, hearing what you guys have to say and also resonating, how you guys are resonating with the readings. Okay, so yeah, I do feel like this is a love reading because we have a lot of cups here. So you could be dealing with a water sign or another water sign. Um, but we have the two of pentacles followed by the page of cups. So there is some distance between you and your specific person. But I feel like for some of you with the two of cups, like this person is pretty like, um, clever. I get like, you know, they could be juggling a lot of things right now. Um, or maybe they have in the past. It's almost like I, I get the energy with the two of pentacles and the page of cups. Like this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And now they're starting to see more of the value that you have or, or they're like weighing the pros and cons. But I do feel like for some of you, they have come to you or they will be coming towards you because there's there's like this energy with the two of pentacles and the page of cups it's like they want to they want a committed relationship and they're in the in the process of maybe making a decision or um yeah i feel like for some of them they're they're kind of evaluating their situation their choices from the past and they might have always kept you in this limbo of of the two of pentacles and now that they're they're looking at you and they're saying oh okay this person is actually somebody that i could be in a long-term relationship with and they don't want to miss out on that. So they're hoping to see that this is um, <laughs> that you're going to be um, willing. Because I feel like in the past, they didn't really give you a commitment. Especially with that Two of Pentacles. Like they might have always kept you in limbo and you weren't really sure. And with the Page of Cups, you have desired, or this is what you want. This is what you need from them. In order for this connection to kind of move forward. But I also feel like the energy that I'm getting... Um, they know that they have to treat you fairly in order to give you this page of cups, guys. And definitely in the past, they've, they've kind of been resistant. So the page of cups is like, they know that you want a solid commitment. For some of you, they could be watching you. I'm getting a sense of like watching you or they've been watching you. They could have been watching you for the past two months. Maybe they're watching you on the internet or they're just kind of following your social media and just trying to see like what you've been up to, what you're doing. Because I feel like for most of you Cancerians, you've been kind of focused on your career, your finances, and really not giving this energy from your past um, that attention that you have in the past. With the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you do have very strong emotions for them. But the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, like this person could be a little bit younger, a little bit more immature and reckless with um, the connection between the two of you. Like they definitely have, they are showing me that they have taken this connection a little bit um, for granted or they weren't emotionally available. And it could be because they were focused on other things or they were just juggling too much um, when you guys were um, together. But I do feel like 
even if they weren't emotionally available in the past, it looks like they want to come towards you and give you this offer because there is some jealousy here, especially with these, you know, these emotions that it's, it's there's a lot of emotions flowing with your person. They could be going through some healing, but they're definitely patiently waiting, watching you could be possibly obsessing over you. They know that they can't get away with what they had kind of given you or, or how they came towards you in the past. So they have a lot of like self control by the way i do feel like this if if they are even feeling jealous or obsessed with you or they're stalking you or um on the internet or social media or just trying to find out what you're doing it's like they're jealous and kind of like obsessing i want to say that their emotions are a little bit overwhelming right now now that you've kind of distanced yourself now that you've pulled yourself away from this connection they um they do see you as the queen of cups like somebody that is very gifted somebody's very sensitive very tolerant um also um they know that they need to meet your desires and your needs and this is something that they might not have done in the past so i feel like they are definitely taking some personal stock and definitely evaluating themselves and what they have done in the past but with the Queen of Cups, I feel like this is you guys. Like, you still have love in your heart for them. But at the same time, you're not really giving it as much as you have in the past. Like, you're not being that over-emotional, over-sensitive type of, of energy. Um, because you're desiring something more. But I do feel like you are the type of person that would kind of wear your heart on this on your sleeves. And Cancerians are very sensitive. Like we love, we love unconditionally. I am also a Cancerian as well, guys. So um, I can definitely relate to this energy where you still have that love for that person, but you're not in love with them or you're not giving them the love that you would but once had done in the past. And now they're starting to realize this and they're feeling a little bit insecure, maybe even a little possessive and jealous. And I do see that you are going to be, they could be possibly coming in towards you and offering you something more solid, stable, but they understand that you're not going to settle for anything less. So the current situation, it's like they're missing you. Um, with the Six of Cups, they could be like, um, you know, just being nostalgic regarding um, the connection that the two of you have. I also feel like um, with the Queen of Cups, some of you could be very psychic or you're, you have, um, you know, you're getting more in touch with your spirituality. So I kind of wanted to bring that out. I didn't want to leave that off the table. And I, I feel like they are feeling this energy from you as well. Like you're very, not, you're not just sensitive, but you're also, um, it's almost like you're the person that everyone goes to. So they are missing you and, and the love that you used to give. But with the Six of Cups, it, it is showing me that they, they, it's almost like they had to lose you to see, to see the person that you really are. And it is definitely somebody from your past that you're going to get the clarity from, followed by the Ace of Pentacles. And I do feel like they want to come towards you and offer you this um, solid commitment, but some of them could be a little bit fearful or your person could be a little bit fearful and not exactly sure how to approach you. Because this is something that they never had to do or they maybe they um, nobody ever challenged them enough in their life to like really push them or press them to have this um, type of connection. So I also feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like this is you and where you guys are at Cancerians. Like you're really focused on your work, your career, your finances. Like you're trying to like move past this energy. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, yes, you're focusing on your work, your career. You could be um, having a lot of new beginnings around you, especially with um, finance and career. And you're not like doing anything. You're not communicating with this person at this moment. I, I feel like there's a sense of you kind of like taking care of you. But I also at the same time, you are wanting and desiring this person to come towards you. And maybe you're patiently waiting for them to come towards you with this um, offer of love, like something solid, something real, um, that solid foundation. And, that, and that's kind of like where you're at, um, Cancerians. But whatever they, this person has done in the past, you're not even going to entertain that. We have the seven, seven of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. Like you're working on yourself, building your foundation. I get for some of you could be manifesting um, things in your life because there are new opportunities coming towards you. You could be out meeting new friends, um, just 
and, and I get a lot of new connections around you. So you're being very patient with this person from your past and you're open to hear what they have to say, but you're not making any decisions. Even if it's someone um, new that kind of comes into your life because, and there could be with the Ace of Pentacles, maybe you have kind of like, you're thinking about this person from your past, but you've kind of left that energy because you've been so patient. And now here is this new person that comes in because we do have the Three of Pentacles, which also represents a third party. It could be a third party that interfered with the relationship or um, could be outside influences. Maybe your person didn't really um, protect the energy of the connection that the two of you had and they allowed outside people to kind of influence it where they had never really come towards you with that full commitment. I feel like this person never was really committed um, in this connection. Again, it's going to resonate with some of you, but it, not with everyone. So just kind of take what you want and leave what doesn't work for you. But what I, I'm getting, Cancerian, is that they want to build this foundation. They might want to go a little bit slower than what you want, Cancerians. So you will, your patience is going to be required if you decide to kind of... Um, be open to this offer when they come towards you. But I also feel like for some of you, you have something new in your life. And even though, but you, but there's also a sense of like a little bit of confusion regarding your past because you're not exactly sure where this person is standing. You're not, um, it's a, like, there's a, almost a sense of like lack of closure and, but they are really kind of reevaluating it's like they could be looking at pictures of you or again looking at you on the internet and um just wanting and desiring to see what you're up to but i feel like for some of them for some of you there your your person could be a little bit quiet because they're watching you start your new beginning i think they know a little bit more about you than than you want to um Yeah, I feel like for some, they like when they come towards you to offer you more. Yeah, because now that they see that like, you're a new person, it's almost like you're a new person, and they didn't even know that you had these abilities. They didn't even see you in this in this light. This self-sufficient, independent, you know, pursuing your goals, your career, and, you know, just being a little bit more patient. Maybe in the past you never reacted to them or you reacted in a different way, but they are seeing you react. Um, they are noticing the changes within you, Cancerian, and I do see that they are um, now, like, acknowledging this and, you know, more so seeing that you are the person that they could have a, a long-term relationship with. And I'm not just talking about, like, the flakiness that they had offered you before. They know that they have to come towards you with that solid balanced relationship. Or you're going to move on to this new person. If you haven't already um, met this new person, I feel like um, the connection with you and this new person, it's good, it's clear. It's like you, there's um, a lot of similar interests that you do have with your new connection. And you're just patiently waiting to see how it unfolds. I don't feel like you're even um, pushing or wanting a commitment at this time. Cancerians, because you're very focused on work and career. Again, we have the magician. So this is like the manifesting card. Um, the magician with the eight of pentacles, like you're working on yourself. You're manifesting your dreams. You, you've you kind of worked hard in the past couple of months. And there's this sense of like cause and effect that I'm getting around you. Like you know what you want and you need somebody in your life at this time or you're wanting or designing, desiring somebody new in your life because you've kind of turned your attention on yourself and dis and you've disconnected from this person from your past. Cause you decided and realized that you have, the, you have like a little bit more, um, I feel like you have a little bit more control over your emotions now, Cancerians. And as a result of you kind of putting your focus on your work, your career, your finances. Some of you could be like starting or desiring to go back to school. And with the page of wands and the moon, it's like, I do feel like your person is going to come towards you because this communication is coming from your past person. So you're definitely gonna be getting a message, um, but they do fear that you're gonna reject them. Like this person is hoping that you're gonna be open to talking to them and listening to their rational, um, ra you know, maybe their ideas of what they think our relationship really in, in their mind thing. Yeah, I feel like for some of them, like, and there could be that lack of balance between the two of you that you had in the past where you just had different ideas of what their, what a relationship really is or what it really means to you. So you might have different types of ideas or different, um, 
different cultures. I want to say different cultures, but I really don't like using that because um, I always feel like people can work things out if just as long as you have a strong communication. But in the past, your person did not communicate very well. And I do feel like they are going to want to come towards you and, and communicate, but they're a little fearful. So kind of be a little bit sensitive with them, Cancerians, because um, they are scared that you're going to reject them. This person is hoping that you'll be open to talking with them or that you'll... Or, or that, like, even though that there's challenges in the relationship, like, with the moon, I feel like this is what kind of held this connection back. They feared um, maybe being committed to you or giving you a sense of themselves. Like, they felt like if they had to have a commitment with you, they were um, going to have to give up, like, things around them that they weren't very comfortable with at the time. So there's a lot of fear in there. This could um, also, like... They do feel stuck right now. I will tell you that there's like this fear is almost like keeping them paralyzed and they're feeling a little bit stuck and they're not exactly sure how to approach you. But I do feel like they're going to um, with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, they're going to come towards you, but they come towards slowly. They're, like they're taking the responsibility for the connection. It's almost like they're starting to grow up. Um, because of lessons that they've learned maybe throughout the connection. And now that they're like, now that they've taken the time to kind of evaluate it or, or weigh those options, um, they're ready to, to come towards you with like a more solid commitment. Like, especially if there was a third party, I feel like for, for some of you Cancerians, like if they were involved in a third party there, this third party is no longer there. And they are trying to come towards you as a king of pentacles, which is somebody a little bit more responsible, a little bit more reliable, taking accountability for their actions. Um, but Cancerians, it's really going to be up to you in terms of like how you want this connection to go. Because I do feel like for some of you, you have another connection in around you and you're, you know, even though you have love for this person, but I feel like for some of you Cancerians are like, it, was this connection really what it was? Um, is this something that I really... Um, want and need in my life um that's the sense of energy that i'm getting so it really is going to be up to you in which direction that you want to take but i feel like this month cancerians um probably going into the month of august like you're really not making a decision you're not giving this person a commitment and it could be because you're really focused on your career and your goals and you're desiring something a little bit different than what they have to offer so you're gonna have to see if they can really offer you what you um, desire and what you need in the relationship. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to be making that choice. So, um, Cancerians, it will be up to you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pull some charms for you guys. Okay. Something just popped out. So I got like a little lizard that could, um, resonate with some, some of you. Maybe it's, um, yeah, it could just be, um, like this is something that you see or it could be, I don't know, in your backyard. Take it how, how it resonates with you. Okay, so we have the number five that came up. Um, then we have, looks like a rocking horse. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We also have the number two. And then there's a, there's a heart, guys, with um, the key. So it's like they want to give you the key to their heart. But there has been some fear-based energy there. And live your dream. So I feel like Cancerians, you are living your dream or they want to live their dream with you. Um, live, laugh, and love. I feel like you guys are pretty positive. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like Cancerians, you guys are, do, you're, you're at your best. You are being very fearless in moving forward. And you're doing, again, the best, best, best. Maybe they feel like you're the best person for them. Let's pull it, let's pull it a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, so I have a snail. They are slow as a snail, that's for sure. Um, especially with this energy that I'm getting. And we have a little monkey. Maybe they um, have spoken to you about monkeys or maybe you guys went to the zoo together and saw monkeys. And then there is the dragon and they could be coming towards you like a dragon. I mean, you know, very powerful, very strong. Because I don't feel like this person from your past really wants to let you go, Cancerian. But it really is going to be like up to you in how you approach this. Um, and they're not, you know, they are fearful too. So 
the best advice I think that I can give towards you Cancerians at this moment is just really like be open to what they have to say. Um, try to listen to them or at least hear them out. Because I do feel like for you Cancerians, there is a sense of like that, like you're not feeling like there's any closure. And um, for some of you, maybe you just get that closure and kind of move on with your new person. But see how it resonates with you, Cancerians. Okay, that's about it for now. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading with me, my website is listed below. You can click on that link and go ahead and schedule a reading. Or um, if you'd like to support the channel, that um, link is also listed below. And until next time, Cancerians, love and light.